Hey guys, welcome back. We're getting ready for another prep. I'm going to be making some homemade chicken pot pie. So I had to show you the chicken, the same chicken from the fajitas. Um, I just cubed a few. I have some celery and red onions, and I'm going to saute in some butter. And I have filling, which is going to be some mixed vegetables here. Um, my broth, chicken broth, that will boil the vegetables in. Our milk, our half and half for the roux. And I grease my little ramekins. And I may or may not use the mini pie crust, but I think I might. But I, I did grease the ramekins for it. All right, let's get going. Okay, so I'm going to start boiling my chicken, even though it's seasoned for two I'll put a little onion powder and garlic powder. So I'm going to get that halfway, a little more, and cover that up. And I'm going to take my little chicken some of the mixed veggies and the celery. Now we're gonna let this boil for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna add these little red onions, purple onions, however you call them. I'm just gonna let this saute. Okay, I'm gonna add my chicken broth back in. I drained it from the vegetables we boiled. Okay, so my roux is pretty thick, and that's a good thing. I'm gonna begin to spoon some veggies in the mixture, my chicken. If I need to do anything more, I'll go from there. Things here. 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 Again, someone's going to say, oh, there's carbs in the pie crust. Not the only carbs there. It's more about having um, portion control, you know, than anything. Either eating regular food and having portion control. So I'm going to cut a little slit. Then I'm going to get them in the oven. The oven's already been preheating. And here are our chicken pot pies. Uh, all right, see you later. Eat smarter, not larger. 